Hey Slim Wallet dudes, today we're doing a Slim Wallet showdown. I've got three of the top Slim Bifold wallets here, and in this video I'll tell you which of the three wallets is the best, but along the way I'll show you how each wallet has its own advantages and disadvantages, and that determining what Slim Wallet is truly the best really depends on your own personal preferences. So the three wallets we have today are the Bellroy Note Sleeve, the Big Skinny Curve, and the Husk Ultra Slim Bifold. We'll judge these slim wallets based on four factors. The factors are usability, durability, aesthetics, and of course, slimness. First, let's talk about slimness. The golden threshold for slimness is half an inch thick with seven cards inside. If a wallet is below half an inch thick, it will fit so comfortably in your front pocket that you can't even feel it. All the way up to 0.6 inches will fit just fine, but when you sit down, you'll feel it in your front pocket. Each wallet already has seven cards inside, and you can probably tell which of the three wallets is the thinnest. Coming in third place at 0.56 inches is the Bellroy Note Sleeve. Coming in second place at 0.48 inches is the Husk, and the slimmest wallet at 0.46 inches is the Big Skinny Curve. Not only is the Big Skinny Curve the thinnest, but it also has this curved edge which allows it to drop into your front pocket with very little resistance. The Husk and the Bellroy fit in your front pocket comfortably, just not quite as well as the Big Skinny. And the Bellroy is above the half inch mark, which means you'll feel the wallet in your pocket when you sit down. But slimness doesn't come for free. You'll see soon that there are only two ways to make a wallet more slim. One way is to use a thinner material, which leads us into our second topic, durability. Durability is entirely dependent on the type of material used to make the wallet. And each of these wallets is made with a different material with varying levels of durability. Coming in third place is the Big Skinny Curve. It's made from a nylon microfiber, which is a very thin material, which works fine for the short term, but in three to five years, it'll get totally worn out. Some people also dislike its texture. Coming in second place is the Bellroy Note Sleeve. It's made from top grain leather, which is the second highest grade of leather you can buy. The only type of leather more durable is full grain leather, the difference being that top grain leather is slightly thinner, meaning it's a little less durable. And the most durable wallet of the three is the Husk. It's made from full grain leather. This type of leather is known for its durability, and as it ages, the leather will take on character and actually look better over time. So to do a quick recap, the Big Skinny Curve was the thinnest of the three, but it was the least durable. The Husk was the most durable, and also the second most thin. And the Bellroy was the thickest wallet and the second most durable. So right now you may be thinking that the Husk is the best wallet. But remember how I said there were only two ways to make a wallet more slim? We showed you that one way is to use a thinner, less durable material, and the other way to slim it down is to reduce the number of pockets in the wallet, which leads us into our third topic, usability. To have great usability, a slim bifold should have several card pockets, and one large pocket for cash that keeps bills crisp and organized. Coming in third place in usability is the Husk. The Husk only has two card pockets and no large pocket for cash. Since the cards have to share pockets, it can be a little slow to pull out the card that you need sometimes. And the cash is held under this strip of leather, which is a little hard to slide cash into, and it doesn't give you any organizational benefits. In second place is the Big Skinny Curve. It has several card pockets and has a large cash pocket that keeps money crisp and organized. It also has a large pocket behind the ID window to hold your less frequently used cards like insurance or gift cards. And in first place is the Bellroy Note Sleeve. This one has everything the Big Skinny offers and then some. The large card pocket has a pull tab, which makes accessing the cards much easier. And it also has a hidden card pocket that lets you take a card out without opening the wallet, which is pretty cool. So it was pretty easy for me to say the Bellroy Note Sleeve has the best usability of the three. And let's move on to the fourth topic, aesthetics. This topic is the most controversial because it really depends on personal taste. But in my opinion, the Bellroy has the best aesthetics of the three. The top grain leather has a distinguished look that makes you proud to hold it. I love that it opens like a book, and the gray accent inside truly makes it pleasing to the eyes. The husk looks nice as well, but doesn't give me the same feeling of quality the Bellroy gives. And the big skinny looks like a budget wallet. But the question is, which of these wallets is the best? 
We saw that the Big Skinny was the slimmest of the three wallets, and it had good usability, but it was the least durable. We saw that the Husk was the most durable, and almost as slim as the Big Skinny, but it had the worst usability. And the Bellroy had the best usability and aesthetics, but it was the least slim of the three. Each one has pros and cons, so how do you know which one is the best? Well, before I say which one I think is the best, I want to point out that deciding which wallet is the best is really your decision based on the qualities that you value most. Maybe slimness is the most important to you, and you don't care about durability. For me personally, I like the Bellroy note sleeve. I value usability almost as highly as I do slimness, and the wallet looks so nice that I just love carrying it around in my pocket. I'll put links to these exact wallets down below. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon. That's all for me today. Adios, Slim Wallet Dudes. I'll see you in the next video.